the hell? They having a meeting? Oh, they starting a boy band. <laughs> Fuck is happening? Roach? Oh god. Jesus. Really? Bro. Our long awaited reunion. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. What it do? This is your boy KJ, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Just finished finding homie Valentine. Vincent Valentine, I think that's it. Vincent. We just finished finding Vincent, and we gonna head back upstairs. That boy's sad. He thinking about it. Well, you, you, you're trying to be helpful. Boy, got his ass beat. He was a tough guy, though. Would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? Why? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any Jesus. guesses as to where it was last seen? The saucer. The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta. Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. All right, well. Guess we're going back to the saucer. What's this? The hell? They having a meeting? Oh, they starting a boy band. <laughs> Fuck is happening? Roach? Oh god! Jesus! Really? Bro. Our long awaited reunion. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Damn. 
Bam. So boss fight already. My desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's cut it one last time. He's mine. Ah oh, shit. One on one, baby. Damn, that was good. Hey, Roach, we got good. Stole that from me. You okay? Probably not. Uh, 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 I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come I mean, I guess. Out. We're on the home stretch. Ain't dead yet. Give us a hug. Ow. I think he's almost dead, guys. Damn. Damn. He got fucked. <laughs> he had me in the beginning, I ain't gonna lie. How do you have degradation already? I mean, you just had the experiment. Or was it just boosting from what he had before? I don't even know. That sucks. Gotta make Cloud feel crazy. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. It's definitely gonna happen to you. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Am I so shiny? Zack again. Come on. Huh? Look. 
got the Wu Tang Clan. Yep. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. Mm -hmm. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. Damn. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Let's see it. Pull it up. They record this shit on a potato? What the fuck? Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Okay, now. They serious. Is this Saruf, the invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What it shut up. Glenn, what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Redor on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. Damn. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lotbrock took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Yo, mama. I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. Yeah. The ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. 
She will guide us to the promised land. I don't know what y'all think that is, but it ain't what you think it is. One way or another. If you say so. Hmm. What's up with your eyelashes? Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Some, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the salsa? Sid. With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kate Seth? Hey, we're froze. Thought. Huh? Um, well, you see. The hell? Look. Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Breaking news at this hour. Cloud. Yes. I'm picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed. Though I'm unable to ascertain why. So check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in of any course. obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Why don't you suck my dick? Alright, we got shit to do now. Sweet. Alright, so we've done pretty much everything in the Nebo region. And uh, we're getting ready to fly out of here. And um, yeah, we finally beat Odin, which was tough. I did the Yuffie cheese. Hey! Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. And what is that? About your mother. Her name's Afona, right? Yeah. Maybe. How do you know so that? What? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. Damn. They used to fuck. You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee high to a Tonberry. That was what? <laughs> All the smogger, I'd wager. <laughs> Damn. I'm on the Willis. Mm -hmm. That's a crying shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aaron. Aaron, is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I'm uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. 
then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the saucer for free. For free. free? <laughs> it's fine, we'll pay. Now it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Um, how's it now? Hey, good to go? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Let's get a move on then. Huh. An eight? Uh, what's he doing here? You said that Sephiroth is your foe. Yeah. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Please, take a seat. Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie, that's a tall order for most pilots. Uh. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. Oh boy. That mean also that I could be free. I'm sorry. If she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wu Tai's finally made a move against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bound to hell and back, Shinra's got to be on the ropes. Good. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Right. Exactly. This will affect everyone. For the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, and what a related note. If war is officially declared, it will need be long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. Oh shit. Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think everything is under control. I said just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. Y'all are in good hands. <laughs> right. Get off my ass and sit tight like I told you to. But what was it altitude? Oh man, we're screwed. We ain't screwed, people. Hey. All right, race for emergency landing. This <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Look at this bitch on the floor. Jesus. 
Jesus. A golden key. We made it to chapter 12, y'all. Only two more chapters to go. And I am sad this is ending. Now we have to wait another fucking four years for the third part to come out. Start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Hurry the fuck up. Through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on the coast of the El Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Coast of El Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Hey. Hey, mind filling us in on the keystone before we arrive? Probably. Uh, 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Kind of there. It wasn't. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But, someone had been cut in the river and they rolled it up the windows. The keystone vanished out of thin air. So it's not at the saucer? You know where it went? No, but I know a man who did. The former curator. Hmm? How do you know that name? Let's just say. After the museum debacle, all deal was devoted to going to be promoted again from the saucer of the ball. Made director in no time. The real richest to rags to richest story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. Okay. Can this thing go any faster? Hey, see, did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. <laughs> Man who tried to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. And I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. Johnny's all built up by now. He let his hotels found it with them. See you later. Right chance. Kid probably got grifted again and it's crying himself to sleep every night. And here we are. What the fuck is that thing right there? <sighs> Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. <laughs> we sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl, all the way 
always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> okay, so we got two motherfuckers. What the hell? Oh, there he is. Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough for pain in my ass. Yeah, <laughs> one's more than enough. Yeah, they're talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to end it right here, y'all. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll see y'all next time. Latest.